Hey YouTube, this is Joe from the Northeastern Native Plant Digest bringing you another video on a beautiful Saturday afternoon. Uh, today I wanted to talk about Chelone glabra or turtle head flower. Uh, this is a native perennial to the Northeast. This is a perennial that can get to be about two to four feet high and wide. Uh, this, per this particular plant loves wet spots. I have it planted here uh, by my pond. It's the second year I've had it and it's doing really well. It can take heavy clay soils. It can take average garden soil. Uh, it, it gets a little. It can get a little leggy. You can pinch them back. I haven't opted to pinch this one back today. And this is a great late season nectar source for bees, particularly bumblebees. Although uh, a lot of other uh, species of bees and little flies uh, make use of this plant, uh, it has a nice uh, reward of nectar inside. Uh, it's called turtle head because of the shape of the head. Looks like the head of a turtle, and you can. Uh, kind of take them there and pinch them. It'll kind of open up sometimes, so you can see that. It's also sometimes referred to as a uh, like wild snapdragon stuff like that. There's a there's an annual that's called snapdragon. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with. Uh, but this is an overall great plant. This particular species too is the host plant of the Baltimore checker spot. And so if you're wanting to create a butterfly garden and a pollinator garden. You know, this is definitely a plant you want to include uh, if you're in the, uh, the native range of that particular species of butterfly. There are some other species of uh, Chelone, and I'm going to talk about one other one today that's a cultivar. So I'm going to walk on over to the other part of uh, my little pond here, and uh, we'll take a look at that one. I'm going to pause this video, and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back here. So this particular cultivar... Uh, some of you may be familiar with it. This is really popular in a lot of nursery sites now. It's called Tiny Tortuga. It's got beautiful uh, reddish flowers on it. Now this this plant has really been a magnet for small pollinators this year. I've stood out here watching it and there, there's a lot of them on here today. As you can see, uh, they are able to get inside. Now bumblebees do muscle their way inside, but there's little gaps on these flowers. If I could get this in focus, there's little gaps in there and uh, you know which is plenty of room for these little uh, these little flies and little sweat bees and stuff like that they're they're well able to get inside there but this particular cultivar I've seen this the species referenced as Leona Leonia or uh, obliquia so I'm not exactly sure uh, I've seen it listed on multiple sites either way but uh, this is a beautiful species I had this planted in the north side of my house. Uh, I planted this two years ago, but it wasn't really doing that great. Uh, even though it's kind of, uh, uh, it's a shaded site, it's moisture. It gets a lot more sun here, but the soil stays, uh, stays a little bit wetter over here. Uh, they do prefer full sun. Uh, they, this is a more compact variety as well, uh, but it's really doing great here. It's, it looks great and I love it next to the ironweed, the color of the ironweed with the uh, tiny tortuga looks really good. Also looks good next to some black-eyed Susans. I'm hopefully going to be, this thing will spread by rhizome, and I'm going to hopefully be able to divide this up here. Also have it paired with some uh, little blue stem. And you can see the cattails in the back. Uh, I don't think, to my knowledge, somebody, you know, if, you, if, you, uh, if you're more familiar with this, uh, please put it in the comments below, but I don't think that the Baltimore checker spot uses this uh, this particular variety of Chelone as a host plant. I, I'm pretty sure that it's just the, uh, the Glabra, the white uh, turtle head. So if you're really looking to uh, include this in your garden for, for, the, for butterflies, I would play on the safe side and uh, plant the, you know, the, the white turtle head. But, you know, there's no harm in putting this. I plan on spreading this kind of, you know, in the rest of this garden. Another interesting plant that showed up this year is this uh, gr uh, great blue lobelia. I didn't plant this, uh, so it showed up on its own, and I got it. I also have some white obedient plant over here. That's done blooming. But uh, so here we are. We're in the last week of August coming up here. It's almost beginning to be September, and this plant really looks phenomenal. So I would definitely get, I highly recommend this, especially if you've got a wet site, clay soil, you know, Go out and uh, get yourself some turtle head. And uh, hope you enjoy this video. Hope you enjoy this beautiful day. 
leave your comments below. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Give it a thumbs up. And I'll talk to you later. Have a great one. Bye.